Welcome back, welcome back to the next episode of our Pokemon Radical Red Nuzlocke. This is our first attempt of it, and we are about to take on Erica. Let me actually, before I even get super started into this, let me pull up Radical Red Files. Bam, I want to pull up Erica's team so I can explain the team, why I did what I did, and what the plan is going into this battle, because I think we got quite a squad for it. So, I'm going to lead with the Shuckle against the Rillaboom. Rillaboom can't really do too much to me. And I'm just going to set up the Sticky Webs. Sticky Webs immediately is going to be extremely nice. Uh, slowing down the Mouscarada uh, for potential problems later on. Um, also slowing down the Meganium and Venusaur will allow me to U-turn with my other guys pretty freely, which will be nice. Uh, we got Regigigas here. It's just kind of a last-ditch effort to come in and just start doing some damage. Let me actually double-check your move set. Um, ooh. Ooh, I want to give you Ice Punch. Give you Ice Punch over Confuse Ray. Knockoff could be good. Um, what is your moveset aside from that, though? Knockoff, Dizzy Punch, Ice Punch. This should be good. Uh, you have U-Turn X's or Bullet Punch Roost. The Psychic Soft Boiled Refresh Bulldoze. Um, instead of Bulldoze, you should have Icy Wind. Icy Wind over Bulldoze. Um... You are Technician, Dual Wing Beat, Roost, Flamethrower, U-Turn, and my Klefki, who has Fluffy. Where are you? Where are you? Bam. Fluffy. This is my answer for the Meow Scarada. Uh, so I'm going to be able to switch that in every single time I see it. And uh, this should be kind of a free uh, battle, um, if I'm if I'm so inclined to say so myself. Um, I think we're going to be just fine with Technician, Dual Wing Beat. And um, just this team in general. I think it's really good. Having an answer like I have with uh, the Klefki for. Oof. Let's go Crayon. Dizzy Punch. Dizzy Punch. Dizzy Punch. Arrow Seed. Let's go into Rudy. And that Gyro Ball did way too much damage. Um, oh, did you set up rocks on me? I think you did. All right. Why do you have so many Pokemon? Gosh. So many Pokemon. Uh, but I think this team is going to be completely great for it. I think setting up Sticky Webs is going to be nice. Uh, Dan the Man is kind of my answer for the Electrode. Because you have Magma Armor, which is fine, but your special defense is crazy. And if he clicks Explosion, we'll be fine. I can Struggle Bug on him to lower his special attack and whatnot. So I think we'll be fine with the Electrode. Um, but yeah, let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. Erica's battle can get out of hand sometimes. You know, for instance, if she goes immediately into, if she U-turns out immediately with Rillaboom, then that'll be, that'll probably be fine, actually. I go for the Sticky Web. You Grassy Glide. Perfect. Perfect. I could waste some turns of the Grassy Surge, too, if I wanted, because this is going to... Okay, it's going to do more damage than I thought. Okay, they did a little bit more than I thought it was going to. I'm going to be completely honest. Um, But that's fine. We eat it up. We go directly into Moltres, because Grassy Glide is going to do nothing to Moltres. Perfectly fine. I... Would like to U-turn here. Let me double check. Right, this is something I thought about initially. Um, I hit 97 speed. I am going to U-turn here. Goes for the Drain Punch. I knew he'd be faster. I knew Drain Punch wouldn't do anything. Uh, but this U-turn is going to get some good damage off on him. Okay. I didn't think he would like just give me the free... KO on that, honestly. But I guess he doesn't really have a switch in. Um, I have Fluffy. But I don't think that if high horsepower is a non-contact move. I don't I don't think high horsepower is non-contact. Let's switch back into Ruby. So I've wasted some turns of the grassy terrain now. This is what? Turn one, two, three. This is turn four. So I should only have like two more turns left of it. I'm going to go for the dual wing beat. 
It'll get me the kill. Perfect. Yep. Gets the KO on you. We're still at full HP in the... I'm assuming you go Meganium. Because you have Ancient Power or you go Electrode. One of the two. Meow Scarada. Let me check the speed here. Um... Meow Scarada, level 43. Minus one, Jolly Nature or Timid. I am faster than you. Your Jolly level 43, you hit 90 speed when you're minus one, which means I am faster, which means I'm going to U-turn. You couldn't really hit me for anything super strong anyway, so that was a very free U-turn. Oh, you still have your Focus Sash. That's why. That's why you did that. Um, I'm assuming it U-turns, honestly, or triple axles. One of the two. Goes for the knockoff. Okay, that's perfectly fine. You go for the knockoff. It does nothing to me. And you should see you can't do any damage to me. And you should switch out. So I'm going to set up a spike. You U-turn out. Meowskarada is gone. Meowskarada is dead because... He will die to the spikes damage, which is why I put spikes on this. I was either break his focus sash or to um, kill him if he ever just went down to his sash and tried to come back in. So that pretty much means he's going for an earth power here, almost guaranteed. Um, This is still here for the electrode. If he goes Earth Power or Sludge Bomb or Sleep Powder, if he goes to the Sleep, who would I rather be put to sleep? Probably. St I think Stella's my answer every time. I think I always go Stella. Screen Cleaner doesn't matter. You Mega Evolve. You become very strong, but I am still a Blissey at the end of the day. You go for the Sleep Powder. Okay. So you can't put anything else to sleep now. And the grassy terrain is gone. That is huge. Um, I'm going to go into Scizor. Scizor is kind of an answer for Venusaur. You have a Sludge Bomb. Doesn't affect me. You have Earth Power. But honestly, I'm just going for the X Scissor. I lowered your speed, so I'm going to be doing some good chunks right here. If he gets a special defense drop, I could switch out. Just 49. That's a lot. But this X Scissor. One more will KO, so we're good. Yep. Oh my gosh. Uh, but we get the KO here. I could roost, actually. Roost isn't a bad play. I'm going to roost. I outspeed, so I'll be at more HP if I do this. No reason to not get myself the more health. Um, and we X Scissor, get the KO on you. Meganium does have HP fire. So I will be U-turning out on that guy. Uh, if you go, he goes Meganium. Okay. I, he definitely, I definitely outspeed this after the sticky web. 100%. Uh, so I'm just going to U-turn. I have Bullet Punch, but Meganium is too bulky. Bullet Punch isn't going to KO. Without Technician, especially. Um, I'm going to go into Dan the Man. Because Hidden Power Fire shouldn't do too much does absolutely nothing and we have struggle bug on this guy which pretty much walls the rest of his team ancient power yeah that's a problem 67 to 46 that's about 20 but now we start lowering his special attack every single turn and our leftovers recovery my plus his special defense defense drops special attack drops uh should make this almost oh he crits me oh that's not fun that's not fun Minus two special attack. I can't risk another crit. So. I'm going to go into Crayon here. He's minus two special attack. Crayon kind of takes a hit from this like nothing. Um, goes for the pressure. Goes for Dazzling Gleam on that turn. That's perfect. Doing nothing. And now I have a free Ice Punch. Yeah, just Ice Punch. I mean, I'm assuming he... Stays in, just lets it die. Yep. 
and he doesn't really have a switch in. Um, v Mask Rider dies, Venusaur's dead. It's just Electrode. He goes Electrode, I just Ice Punch. There's no chance that an explosion or Chloroblast or anything one shots a Reggie Gigas. I just refuse to believe that. So I'm going to go for the knockoff. He goes to the explosion. Okay, that's fine. There's no way it kills. There's no chance that this kills. That did way more than I was happy with. I'm not going to lie. That did a lot more than I expected. <laughs> but that's a GG. Uh, because like I said, I set up that spike to make sure that Meowskarada could not switch in later on. So that is the usefulness of spikes or stealth rocks. If you can get those set up, the Radical Red does make it a little harder to get Pokemon that can use it. But when you can, let me tell you, it comes in clutch. It comes in clutch. All right, let me put it on daytime. I don't know why it's on night. Okay, our next battle now is Giovanni. One of my least favorite battles in the whole game. Uh, let me sell some stuff real quick. Oh, I already sold a bunch of stuff. Okay, I can buy all the TMs. This game corner has a bunch of TMs. Make sure you sell a bunch of rare candies so you can buy them all. Uh, it's a lot of useful TMs like Scald and Flamethrower and Flash Cannon. It's a huge step in the game getting past Erica. Uh, you could also buy a shiny Pokemon from that guy if you want. Uh, but I choose not to do that, honestly. Sometimes I have, but I'm not like... I really don't feel like it's necessary. So I try to avoid it. Okay. Now, the next thing we do is we start team building. Um, the next battle is Nidoking, Honchkrow, Paldean Tauros, the firefighting, Kangaskhan, and Orthworm. Uh, immediately... Oh, you take more from fire moves, though. I was going to say, this is a... I could change your nature to Earth Eater, which would make you a guaranteed wall for Orthworm. Um, this actually makes you a great switch in for the Kangaskhan. I could use this to bounce around with Kangaskhan. Uh, Sticky Webs, once again, is pretty solid for this. So I think Shuckle is going to go, come to this battle. I could lead with this, set up the Sticky Webs, because the speed on Kangaskhan and Tauros can become huge issues so i think if i can get that out of the way immediately that'll be a great great turn for me um haunch crow haunch crow is one of the most annoying pokemon in this game i will not i will die on that hill um it is so annoying um uh, but i have a great tusk which i believe is the best thing i can use for it it's physical defense is crazy. It's weak to drill pack, though. Thievil has stamina, but critical hits are a thing, so it doesn't really matter. You have Sandstream, which I don't think I want. Um, Zeb Strike out Protosynthesis. What was, what was his other ability? Heat Proof? It's not great. What do you got? Unnerve. This is feeling like a time. Where I think I need to evolve. I think I need an Umbreon. I think I need an Umbreon. Entrecrow is just one of those Pokemon that's extremely difficult uh, to, to KO with Night Slash Sucker Punch. Unless I could switch something in that would be guaranteed faster than Honchkrow. I know what move he's going to go for and I could take one hit from it. And then I could one-shot it with, like, in return. But I don't think I have anything that stands out to be, like, that type of answer. Unless... Are you guaranteed faster than a Honchkrow? Let me see how fast Honchkrow is. Honchkrow and Gliscor. I'm 95 speed. You are 96. You are level 45. I'll be level 47. So you'll be level 45, 115 speed. I'll be level 45. I'll have to be a plus speed nature. Oh, I'll be level 47. Sorry. I'll be level 47. I'll have to use a plus speed nature to outspeed you. But that's okay. I can teach him rock slide. Doesn't kill though. 
Rock Slide does not kill. And the Heat Wave... I think it's the strongest move I can even go for against you. I don't really have anything better. Yeah. Man, Hunchcrow's kind of bulky. Why are you so bulky? Oh, I made him the wrong nature. Okay. Uh, Yeah, Rock Slide's still not going to KO, though. Not doing anything. Could make it out speed, but it's not going to do too much for me. Um, the other play I could do. Battle armor. Blocks critical hits. That makes this so good, actually. Um, yeah, this actually is crazy good. Flygon, level 47. Let me see how much Night Slash does. Night Slash does 27 to 32. To a neutral nature. Oh, this is minus attack. Oops. Um, I'll make you plus defense, minus special defense, because not minus special attack. Um, 27 to 33. Oh, that's oh that's good. Oh, that's good. Okay. Um, so do I need Klefki for anything? I don't think so. Klefki could be another um, switch in for the Kangaskhan. Could be a better switch in, actually. If I bounce between Klefki, I don't think I need Moltres in this battle. I could bring Moltres, actually. There's no reason not to. I do not need Blissey. For sure, do not need Blissey. Um, Shuckle, Flygon for Honchcrow. Chuckle's just there for sticky webs, so he's not really an answer for anything. So what's my Nitto King answer? My Nitto King answer is, I mean, Flygon could be my Nitto King answer too. If it just, I have to get in with the Flygon first, which is kind of the problem. Um, I'm building this team wrong. I'm letting you guys know that right now. I'm doing it, not doing it in the right order. I need you to have Will-O-Wisp. Uh, that is for the Kangaskhan. I need a ghost type for the Kangaskhan. So that's you. You and you can switch around on the Kangaskhan back and forth. Easy peasy. Um, This is my Honchkrow answer. This is actually kind of my answer for the Tauros as well. Um, a Regigigas. Do I need a Regigigas for anything? Not really. Could could sit there for now, but... What is my Nitto King turn? What am I Nitto King answer? Man. Nitto King. Do I need the sticky webs that much? I don't think I need the sticky webs. I think I'm just going to change my initial strategy. I'm not going to go sticky webs. I could go Lottie. Uh, Mist Ball is base 85. I could give you Psychic though. If Lottie asks, which I believe... Level 47 Latias with Psychic um, will kill a Nidoking. Level 45. Um, he's timid. He hits 104 speed, so I can just go Modest. Yeah, and you definitely die every single time. So, you can just lead with this and click Psychic. Any rare candy. Um, where is it? Oh, I only have 42 rare candies left. I'm assuming he immediately switches into Honchkrow. That would be the smart play, honestly. Um, Latias could also deal with the Tauros really well. Okay. Do all that. Level you up. Level you up. Level you up. And you. Uh, this could deal with the Tauros really well, but if he switches immediately into Honchkrow, I know he's going for a dark move. And I can go directly into you every single time. And I get a Dragon Dance up, and I pretty much, like, win at that point. Because you get Dragon Dance. I get rid of Dragon Breath. I have... I need not Earth Power. Um, Earthquake. Over Earth Power. And I think if that happens, I go into this and I just literally destroy him. 
Let me make you plus defense. Uh, minus special attack. And I need to teach you some moves. I need to teach you protect, I think. I just got the TM for protect. I'm going to go protect over crunch. I don't need crunch. There's already no point. I'll get rid of crunch. But Dragon Claw Earthquake beats the rest of the team. I'm going to give you leftovers. I'm pretty much... I think I could just do that strategy and just sweep. I think that might be just the smartest play. I lead Latias. I go... Modest. I teach him Psychic. ZZ, I love that you're giving me attention right now, but I'm in thought. I'm in deep thought right now. I lead with him, I click Psychic. If he goes... If he stays in and dies, cool. If he goes anything else, I think I'm just going to destroy him. But just to play it safe, I need to get Will-O-Wisp because you can't learn Will-O-Wisp right now, right? No. I'm going to get the TM for Will-O-Wisp for the Annihilate. I'm going to be I'm gonna be smart about this because right now if I was streaming this, I would just go into the battle with those two Pokemon and be like, I'm going to see if I could beat this with two Pokemon. And it probably wouldn't work. Hi, ZZ. Love you, but they're all up in my face. Uh, but I would definitely just try to full send this 100% for the content. But because this is a YouTube series and I really want to win it, I'm not going to do that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fully build my team the way that I should. Go get the TM for Will-O-Wisp that's in that tower. We are going to teach Will-O-Wisp. Oh, you don't get Will-O-Wisp. Oh, I did not know that. You do. I can do that instead of Flamethrower. You don't get Will-O-Wisp. That stinks. But if I just literally hit you with like a low kick or brick break... I mean, I switch you in on Kangaskhan on the fake out. I click Brick Break. You're going to click Crunch. I could switch out. I could just probably just beat you with that. I could just 1v1 you. Leftovers. Let me make you... Uh, plus Defense. Minus Special Attack. Impish. You are already that nature. Oh, well, Minus Attack. I'm going to give you Leftovers as well. Uh, Orthworm loses to this. Latias beats Nidoking and Tauros. This beats Kangaskhan. This beats Kangaskhan. This beats Orthworm. Uh, this beats Honchkrow. So that's it. That's all we need. That's all we need. That guy does give me an egg. Which I want to get. He gives me an egg from the Sevi Islands. And I want to get it before I forget. And I'll hatch it real quick. See what it is. It's a Vanillix. I'm not going to nickname it. I'm just going to put it in the PC for now. I'm going to bring Regigigas back out because it's a Regigigas and it could be good. And yeah, let's see how this goes. There's a couple trainers I got to fight in here. They're not nothing serious. None of them are like uh, important trainers, so they're not going to actually have like teams. I'm just going to speed through this area so we can get to the important stuff as quick as possible. I do need to get this TM. Oh boy. Brick break, brick break. TM for Trailblaze, I believe? Yes. Trailblaze. It's like Flame Charge, but Grass type. It's a really good move they introduced this, this generation. I like that they're doing that more. Um, they're making moves that are similar to old moves, but just they're different typings. So that, you know, different Pokemon can utilize the same types of strategies. I think it creates a lot more uh, just variety of teams that can be built and whatnot. So, Leech Life, great move. Okay, let's battle you real quick. All those. Oh my, see, once again, I got a notification come through during my recording. And I don't know why. I really cannot figure out why those notifications are coming through during my recording. Someone's like resub goes through. And it plays on my computer, and I do not know why. It's really weird. 
really weird, but so be it. Go this way. At get this TM, which is taunt. Really good TM. Oh, uh, this way, that way. Taunt is extremely good. Um, something I do have to keep in mind is the shed tail from the Orthworm. Uh, because the shed tail could create some issues. I think no matter what, I'll be fine. But. Okay. Rage Fist. Bulldoze, Bulldoze. A Mew. Bulldoze you. That hurt. Um, Mega Punch. Dual Wing Beat. You got one of these guys. Okay, you go back into Mew. You go back into you. Dual Wing Beat. Oh my god, you're hurting me. Bulldoze. Bulldoze. Okay, okay. Mew, relax. Relax there, buddy. Um, what was I just saying? Shed tail. Shed tail possibilities are something to keep in mind. Maybe shed tail. I don't really think it's a big deal. Honestly. I think I'm going to be fine. I say that very confidently as a man who has lost this battle. Very confidently. Many times. My thing is, if he goes shed tail turn one then i'm fine he hards he stays in nido king's dead okay no matter what he does here i have a switch in if he goes orthworm i go into my uh flygon and i'm good he goes tauros that's an interesting decision This was here for the Tauros as a secondary option. Okay, now this. This makes sense. Um, you have Kangaskhan and Honchkrow left. I'm going to go directly into Flygon. Because you're going to Shed Tail. Yep. If you go Honchkrow... I'm literally in good shape. This is like what I wanted. Um, I'm going to Dragon Dance because Drill Peck can't crit me because I have Battle Armor. I did more than I would like to admit, though. I don't like that. Did 54 damage. I have leftovers. So I win this exchange. I'm fine. A Dragon Claw, break your sub. You go for another Night Slasher, Drill Peck, doesn't matter. Drill pack does another, what, 50-something? Wait a minute, buddy. I'm going to protect, get some extra leftovers. I should have done that last turn, honestly. Um, God, he doesn't have any setup moves, so that would have been perfectly safe for me to do. I don't think this is going to one-shot. Most likely not. Nope. Okay, so now I actually have to switch. So this strategy went a little... I protect. You... Night Slash. I know for a fact this AI will predict me. And if I go for an attack here, they will Sucker Punch and it will kill me. Because Sucker Punch... Let me double check. Uh, Night Slash is base 70. I believe Sucker Punch is the same thing, right? Yep. Um, so I know for a fact that they would attack here with a sucker punch and get the kill. But. You can't one shot this, right? There's no way. There's zero chance you go for the heat wave. But I can't go into that. Uh, hmm, it's got me a little nervous now. Because the crit's going to do like 100 something to this. So I can't go into this. Might be able to go into this. It's 
go into this. Let's see what happens. What do you do? Went for the sucker punch. So now I just get the ice punch for free. You cannot one shot me. Hunter Crow's dead. That was very scary though. I got a little scary, not gonna lie. I uh I should if I clicked the protect that one extra turn, I was fine. If I just worked played around the protects a little bit better. Um kind of forgot I put him on that for the put it on there for that exact reason. But you can't shed tail again, but you can body press. Um Shed Tail won't work with him though, right? Because he has under half HP. So I'm going to go into Moltres. There's a body press, yep. Um, I'm going to assume he's going to hard switch out here. I'm going to Will-O-Wisp. You stay in. Okay. Crazy play. Body press is going to do no damage. burn makes your berry pop see now this is where it's gonna get funny he thinks oh i can shed tail now oh you can oh i'm stupid oh i'm stupid stupid i didn't keep flamethrower on him um so he's gonna shed tail i'm going to go on a trash panda shed tails into kangaskhan this is fine i just brick break because you're just gonna click crunch here and we win this exchange. <coughs> we win this exchange. That breaks your substitute. You go for crunch. Ooh. And it does not too much, but he gets the immediate defense drop. Two defense drops back to back. Okay. Yep. That makes sense. It's a typical thing to happen right there. Um, I go into plate. It's fine. I just got to play it slow. He goes for the crunch. He does nothing, nothing. And he goes for either body slam or power up punch here. We go into trash panda. Should go for power up punch. Yep. That doesn't work. No boost for you. And we break break. And with the bull rush, it does so much damage. You go for the crunch, this doesn't matter. Defense drop. You got three defense drops. Oh, you outsped me that time. Oh god, he almost killed me. He almost killed me because of my ability, and I forgot about it. <clears throat> we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I used the speed up on that too, and I almost missed it happen. If I just looked and I said I fainted, I would have been like, that would have been a good breezy clip right there, right? Breezying it up. It's my specialty, baby. All right. I hate that this person's here. Like, why do I have to fight you on my way out of this, like, freaking place? Like, why are you guys here? Intimidate Vaporeon? Did I just see that correctly? Intimidate Vaporeon? Bro, I can't get Vaporeon, man. I have so many good water types. The game's trying to bait me into taking a Vaporeon. Oh, I'm like 9% sure I had Intimidate just now. <sighs> that sucks. That's... Oh, did I never do my encounter over here? Or I must have done nighttime. Okay, I did not. This is why I got Klefki. I was about to say. Um, I believe I can evolve you now. And I am going to evolve you into the Solgaleo. I think I kind of knew I was going to do that all along. Let me make it daytime. And I actually need to go get more leftovers. I mean, uh, more rare candies. I'm running low. At any point, you could always just come back here and talk to this guy, and he'll give you more rare candies and pull mag berries. I save the game quick, because I haven't saved in a little while. And rare candy you up. Let's just speed through this. Solo. 
All right. Moment of truth. Please, Sogaleo. Please be broken. Please, please be broken. That's extremely good. Because he's weak to fire. And it's a weather. That is extremely good. I'm going to check. I don't know if you have another ability. I kind of think you do. No. Okay. Uh, but that's fine. That is fine. Uh, the next battle, the next important battle we have is our rival battle. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Before that. Um, because we got the Sylph Scope. We have the mini boss, which is the Omni Boosted Marowak. Um, I'm gonna have to figure out my answer for that because that's a little terrifying. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, let's rare candy up my guys. Dragon Pulse over Dragon Breath. Crash top. No, thank you. Heal block, no. Air slash, no. Sandstorm, no. Um, okay. Fire Punch, Thunder Punch, Shadow Bone, Bone Meringue. I mean... I don't know what I'm going to do for this thing. Do I have anything that's like really good for this? It's easy. What's going on, buddy? What's going on? Check the deck snav. It's easy. What is going on with you, buddy? You want to come up here? You want to say hi to the camera? Come on. Come on. Come up. Come here. Come here, buddy. Come on. You want a treat? You want a treat? Because I gave a treat to I gave a treat to the other kitty earlier. I'm two for two grabbing salmon packets out of this. Come here. You smell that? Come on. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Hold on. All right, buddy. Come here. Come here. Look at, look at my hand. Do you smell this? It's right in front of your face. Hey. Come here. You lick in my finger that touched it? Can you eat the food out of my hand? You're blind. Easy. Come on. Stop licking my fingers. There's food. <sighs> Do you not see the big piece of meat in my hand? Like, are you blind to this? Buddy. Can you... Are you... Are you, you see that? No, you dropped a piece. Yeah. Eat it. You're just licking it. All right. They, they want to see this. People want to see this. They want to just... I'm trying to I'm trying to use you for uh, bait content. So people will love me. What are you doing? What are you doing? Over here. That's the wrapper. Oh, no, you dropped it. Okay, he's just going to eat it on the desk. Oh, he dropped it again. Oh, God. Cats are difficult. Cats are difficult, man. Oh, my hands just smell like salmon. Okay. Excalibur. Crocolore. Um, crocodile. Do I have a crocodile? I do not. Also, I don't know if this changes with day and night. It does. Hmm. I do see Whale Lord as well. Whale Lord could be broken. Hey. Guys, no fighting over the food. Easy. Oh my gosh. This whole episode just turned to be feeding my cats. Um Backscalibur is another one's Pokemon that can like I think Dragon Dance and just like sweep a lot of battles. So I kind of want it. But I also kind of want Crook. 
Did I do day and night already? I did. Hmm, I don't know which of these Pokemon I want. I'm really not sure. <sighs> do I go Crook? Or do I go Bax? Ice Shard from this is just such a broken thing. We're going backs. Hopefully he has a broken ability. That's all I can hope for. Excalibur. Oh! Yes. 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 I made the right decision. I made the right decision. All right, Excalibur. Let me pull up the nicknames from the last episode. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me see. Benny just left a comment with nicknames 10 minutes ago. Really mean nicknames. Really mean, though. Not gonna lie. I'm gonna name this Dummy. That was very rude. But you know what? So be it. So be it. Um, that is extremely good for this next battle because I have to fight a um, Marowak and it gets an Omni Boost. So giving... Something to it that will lower its attack immediately is extremely good. Let me rare candy him up. Thank you. Oh my god, that's so good. Just an immediate intimidate. And then I could... What would he click? He probably clicks Bone Meringue or Shadow Bone. I could go into Rudy. He wouldn't click Fire Punch. There's no chance of that. I think I would go Rudy and then go back into Dummy. And then I could go into this and just, like, Rage Fist. I literally think that's what I'm going to do. I think it's going to work perfectly fine. I'm going to have to fight you guys first, though. Dragon Claw. Alright. I think this is going to work. Although Marowak can have a random ability. So it doesn't have Bone Zone. Its ability randomizes. Which scares me. His attack fell, and then he gets plus one attack and everything else. So he's neutral right now. So we go to Rudy. I'm assuming Bone Meringue or Shadow Bone come out. Shadow Bone, yep. My defense is pretty good, though. I should be okay. Yo, I am not that okay. Holy guacamole. Sheesh. All right, we're going to intimidate you again, buddy. Marowak is strong. I mean, he does a really good attack. Plus the Thick Club. You got the Defense Drop. That's not cool. Um, now we go into Crichton. Who should take this all pretty decent. I can't get crit, so that's good. I'm just going to Earthquake. You're plus one defense, so this is not going to do that much to you, but... Good damage, still. Okay, Fire Punch. I Protect. I Dragon Dance. I Protect. Fire Earthquake. You die. Perfect. 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 Let me Poke Vial up. And we're going to speed through these battles real quick. Because these are all just more underleveled battles that, you know, aren't that crazy. Um, we just go to you, you have a sandstorm, a dragon dance, earthquake, earthquake, you, oh no, I'm going to go into Crichton, I'm going to dragon dance, I'm going to earthquake, I'm going to earthquake, and I'm going to earthquake, and I'm, ooh, I'm not going to earthquake, I'm going to dragon claw, and they're all dead, beautiful, beautiful, cool, um, I kind of want to do this battle, over here with uh this dude right here. I forget his name. But I think I'm gonna do that battle. Let me look at it. What's his team look like? Where are you at? Okay. He has <sighs> Ooh, 
Several Edge, Mega Gengar, Skeledurge, Zorark Hasui, Dusk Noir, and a Mimikyu. Um, what do I have for this battle? Um, we have Intimidate, which is a great, honestly, first thing for the Mimikyu. Uh, we do have. Thievul with uh, with stamina, which could get pretty good. What do I have in normal types? I have you. You destroy Hosui and Zoroark. Um, I guess Stealth Rocks or Sticky Webs could be decent because your team is pretty fast. But you have Levitate on that. And Shadow Tag. Ah, this battle, I feel like this battle's not worth it. Kind of feel like this battle is not worth it. Um. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not worth it. But with that, though, I'm going to think about that one off screen. I'm going to think about it. Maybe I'll be able to put a team together for it. Not 100% sure if I want to do that. I'll have to, like, relook at my abilities and whatnot. Oh. Oh, I think I'm I think I'm doing it. Oh, I think I'm doing it. This could be crazy. If I switch this because everything has Will O Wisp. That gives me the plus defense. And then Ceaseless Edge is really good. Okay. Alright, maybe I will. Maybe I will. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Leave some nicknames. Leave some comments. Let me know how you're enjoying the series. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.